everybody. Hope everybody's doing well on this gorgeous Monday morning. It's the 17th. Okay, back on the deck job. All right, this morning I came up 8.30 just to do a quick inspection of the post I built. The seven, well, the five posts that I built and the two big uh, standing columns. I just wanted to make sure that before I started this that I didn't need to do any more work before I start building the box framing. Okay? So, as soon as I got here, the owner was here. Him and I talked. He says he's still very happy with my work and that I'm getting a lot done in actually a short amount of time, being that I'm only one person up here. And he was in, he was pretty impressed by that. So, here's the deal with the box framing. These are two different sizes. These are, of course, nine inches. Let's see if we can show you. Well, they're actually a little bit more, but you can see nine and a, a smidgen, okay? All right, and then these are seven and an eighth, or almost seven and a quarter. But these, these have to be ripped, okay? These nine inch ones can stay the same width. They don't have to rip these. Because the post is a six by six so when you put that in between here and you box it in then this actually comes out perfectly nine so what ends up happening is nine inches across by five and a half inches down nine and a half inches across five and a half inches up okay so that's the box I have to create and I've got to create seven of them so when I went to Lowe's this morning I picked up exactly seven of each size, divided by two, because I can get two 38-inch cuts out of each one, okay? So, 38 right there, and I can get, like I said, two particular cuts, but 38, 38 is what, guys? Come on, think fast, 38 and 38 is what? That's right, 76. So, these are exactly 8-footers. A little bit more, of course. So, there'll be a little bit of scrap left. Okay. That's the mathematics. So, what I got to do, 7 posts. I'm challenging your brain. There's going to be 2 different sides per post times 2. So, when you go down to your lumber store and you're trying to do the math and you're trying to figure out exactly what your exact material count is going to be, you got to figure in all the multiples. I got seven posts. I got to build four sides. Two sides are going to be the same width, and the other two sides is going to be the same width. So I got nine inches times two, and five and a half by five and a half with a ten, uh, eleven, and each board will produce two links. So, I got seven posts, seven boards each, be able to divide it by two, which will give me one size of one cut for all seven posts, and then seven more divided by two, which will give me 14. That'll cover the other dimension in the box. Hopefully that's been helpful. <laughs> For some of you, it's a no-brainer. But, I'll tell you this, and this is, this is some funny stuff. In today's, you know, schools, you know, the way they teach the kids, if you put them on a computer and you said, okay, give me these uh, links, give me these cuts, and give me the dimensions. You know, simple formula for guys that use rulers all the time and you have to count your, you know, your product or your links of lumber or whatever. But how about square footage? That really blows a lot of people's minds, especially when you got multiple surfaces all in different angles and stuff. That really blows people's minds. This simple math right here that I just showed you, seven and seven is 14 divided by two is 28. Seven posts divided into 28 will give you exactly 14. So what you're looking at is the math of the logic of it, because each board can be divided in two, right? 
So seven boards equals 14, and you got two stacks of 14 and 14, it's 28. Okay? Simple math. I think I learned that in the third grade, I believe. Maybe fourth. But now in the 10th grade, that would be a, uh, a trick question. <laughs> no, no offense, but very few people can do the math in their head. That's the other part about being a good carpenter or a handyman is being able to do the math quickly in your head and make sure that what you see and your count is correct. And when you have your count correct, you're able to go down and purchase the exact material that you need for that job. Just think of it this way. If you were on a big job site where it took hundreds of linear, thousands of linear foot of board, thousands of linear foot, and you're the materials guy for a big company, and here's your budget, $50,000. You gotta buy all this material. You got the square footage, you get the height, you know, those dimensions, pitch, all the different things that you gotta contend with when it comes to the math of being a handyman. And once you go down and blow that contractor's budget and you come back with all the lumber, and let's say you were off somewhere in your calculations, what do you think that's going to do? <laughs> it's going to first off screw your budget up, you're going to have material waste, multiple trips, and also you're not going to really look good in front of your employer. So knowing your math, and I'm just giving you this as advice, go to school, if you're going to school, or if you've got some spare time and you're already out of school, Learn to read a ruler and learn basic multiplications and division, subtraction and all that. And, and learn how to do it with a pen and paper. Don't do it with a computer or an iPhone. There's very few times, unless I'm dealing with fractions. Now, fractions, some can get complicated, like 5 sixteenths. You know, uh, there's all kinds of little variations, uh, you know, plus 3 quarters. You know, you, sometimes you have to do the math on that one. I can see it on a ruler, but if I had to give you a number, I have to sometimes find that number. Is it 11, you know, or a 9, or whatever it is, your top number in your division table. Okay, guys, enough said about this. But this is what you got to do. you got to be able to know your math. you got to be able to know what your material count is. And you got to be able to make sure that when you make a run, that you don't have to go back. You want to be able to get here on the job site, cut up your lumber, put it where it needs to go, and install it and have everything correct. Okay guys, you know what to do. Leave those comments and I know you will. Also thumbs up, share, like, and I'll get back with you on another handyman video. All right, know your math.